Hey, it's Cable McIlder here, the Profitable Personal Trainer, and today I just wanted to spend a couple minutes to talk to you about Lunch and Learns. It's a strategy that seems to be forgotten by a lot of fitness professionals today, but was one of the primary ways that I actually built my business when I was uh, first getting going with a lot of rapid success. Now, the Lunch and Learns, uh, the key is, is to recognize what your true objective is, and your objective is always to leave with as much contact information or as many email addresses as possible. As good of a connection as we can make maybe in the couple minutes of this video uh, or the, the time that you spend in front of an audience, it's not nearly as good as what can occur over time if I can keep sending you valuable information. So at the end of this video, I hope you'll click the link below the video to go to my blog, ProfitablePersonalTrainer.com because there's tons more information and strategies like this and you'll also see the opportunity to opt in for more valuable information so that hopefully we can develop a similar relationship and maybe there's the potential to do business down the road. That's just just an example of how your lunch and learn should work. So when you do a lunch and learn, here's the keys that I use to achieve success with my lunch and learns. For one, I always make sure it's extremely content rich with the most valuable information I can give people. One of my favorite topics is always to talk about things like posture, stretching, and range of motion, biomechanics in relation to pain. Okay, because the truth is, if you're in a room full of 20 to 30 people, typically between the ages of 35 to 55, which would be my target audience, okay, and I simply start asking people to put their hand up if they get uh, back pain, hip pain, shoulder pain, headaches, or any of the sort, I can ask four or five questions and typically I have every hand up in the room. So if I can teach them something that day that very realistically and very practically helps them manage, mitigate, or uh, eliminate that pain, I have their attention and some value. The second tip I have for you with your lunch and learns is to make sure that they are also in-depth and comprehensive enough that it would be really beneficial if there was some sort of resource, whether that be a demonstration video, uh, whether it be a handout, or something of that nature. I never bring handouts with me. I always talk to people these days about being greener and being eco-friendly, uh, which is the truth. We all need to cut down on our paper and things like that, and these things can be easily transferred electronically. So in lieu of handouts, instead I always ask everyone to leave me their email address on a list and I will send them all of the resources. In addition, of course, as a courtesy, I add them to my mailing list where I constantly send in new and valuable articles and reminding them that they can simply unsubscribe with a single click any single time. This is a total fair change or a trade of value. So you've given them an education, offered them more resources, and shown them that they are not uh, long-term committed to anything. But it gives you the opportunity to really increase that relationship over time by continual communication. Uh, lunch and learns cannot be sales oriented at all or they will fail miserably. But what you can do is use some interesting prizes for things like question and answer or games that you can play with your audience. We find that our plastic gift cards work extremely well for this. That's how you perform uh, an effective lunch and learn. Uh, if you're watching this video on YouTube, as I mentioned before, there's a link below to ProfitablePersonalTrainer.com. Tons more information and strategies like this. Hopefully you found it helpful.